The first story that I want to talk about is the updates to autopilot for the Model S and Model X. And this comes to us in version 10.4. You can see the head of AI for Tesla here tweeting about it, saying, it's very rewarding to watch the early feedback on our latest autopilot update, a result of a fairly extensive rewrite, working hard to get it, uh, working hard to get more of it polished and out there. So this is exciting. I am really happy to hear that they're making progress on autopilot and it sounds kind of like what we'll see with the Model 3 dip that maybe they're past that slowdown and they're headed towards a place where we can see some new features. I foolishly got excited about this and then jumped over to the autopilot page on Tesla's website saw the stuff that they've listed at Enhanced Autopilot for a long time and thought that that was actually here. I thought that they were actually announcing that stuff. And as it turns out, no, that, that was not the case. But uh, there are a lot of videos out there and I wanna just show a couple of them here of people actually driving with it. They report really great things. Everyone seems to be really, really happy about it. Um, and so let's just take a look at one of those now. This video, and I'll put a link to all these here, uh, you can see on a on a questionable road condition, you know, the lines aren't great. You can see that the car is locked in and it's just handling it really well. In my own experience with autopilot, roads like this are very difficult. And first, you really shouldn't be using it on surface streets anyways. Uh, you only should really be using it on freeways and highways and things like that. But you can see that even as just a test that this car, this new version of autopilot is doing tremendously well. And here's another one that has a bit more of a windy scenario. And this is something that if you've driven an autopilot, you know, can be kind of uh, kind of scary because sometimes it'll just lose control and want you need you to take over and really not be able to handle it. Here it's going up over a hill, which is also a challenge for autopilot. And it's just doing a really great job. So I'm sure maybe you guys have seen a lot of these videos out there. It's something that I mean, it, all of us are really, really thrilled uh, to see. Now, the thing about this that uh, someone posted on Reddit, which I thought was an interesting comment, is that because of this, there may be an unintended consequence here. We may start to get too comfortable with this and actually rely on it too much. Remember, it can't stop at a stop sign. It can't stop at a stoplight. So there are still a lot of things it can't do. And so we really need to make sure and just remember that it's really not full self-driving yet and we need to pay attention at all times as good as it is appearing to be in this latest update. Now, one of the questions I got related to this was, well, is this ready for the Model 3? And not that I've seen is the answer. If you take a look at the firmware upgrade tracker here online, again, I'll put a link to this, you can see the S and the X updates here. There's a lot of them that have been going out. But if you take a look at the Model 3, you have most everybody on 4.9, which is what I'm on. And then it looks like somebody just reported 10.1. I haven't seen anything about Model 3 autopilot updates and all that. Obviously, I'll let you know, or you know, you'll find it out on, online on Reddit or Twitter or whatever in advance of that. But um, if it does come, I will certainly go record some videos with that, share them probably on Instagram. Um, so there you have it. Autopilot updates, exciting stuff. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments.